Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Today is 19 March and day two of the restricted mobility uh, movement uh, order. Uh, yesterday we have heard about uh, new cases of COVID-19, about 117 mistaken, and now we have reached about 790 cases in Malaysia. So, but uh, I would like to share uh, about the similarity between COVID-19 and the concept of delay tolerant network. Uh, let me explain to you earlier, uh, be, uh, before uh, we go further. Uh, did you know what happened when there is always cases where uh, we are lack of emergencies, whenever there are you know terrorist attacks, there's uh, we are cut off from communications. Uh, cases like natural disaster, uh, earthquake, hurricane and tsunami happens and whenever this happens, we face a lot of communications problem because all the uh, communication facilities, telecommunications facilities are down, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, take a look at this uh, for the cases where you have base stations and you are unable to communicate with the uh, people around you and you have difficulty to get emergency services so either the police or the hospitals or whatever uh, so you have the, the, the problem of sending your your message across so in communications they, what they are trying to do is that they try to find ways of how you are able to send uh, information across without a proper uh, telecommunication infrastructure. This is where delay tolerant network or mobile opportunity, opportunistic network, what they call it OPNET, uh, able to solve the problem. So they use this concept what they call a store carry forward. So if you take a look at you know the notes here, uh, you have uh, you have a base station who sends the data to a computer. Uh, one way for them to send this data across is you need a node that can carry this information across so they store this information to one particular node in this case a mobile phone most likely and then this phone or this node that is mobile will carry it along to another place where there is another device who will be able to uh, receive this information so after it is stored it will carry this information to here and this information will be forwarded to the next node so the same thing if this information is being uh, carried across to another node it will it will send uh, uh, it will send this data to the another node so you will see this data go, comes from this place and go across to this place and go back to the a proper communication network because in cases where emergency have a uh, you know a problem where uh, communications are cut off especially in this area the ability for this information to go back to a proper infrastructure can be uh, can happen when someone carries this information across. This is what we call store, carry, and forward. Okay. So, the importance of the parameters of understanding of store, carry, and forward of delay tolerant network it requires you to understand the capability of the node that can carry this information across. Uh, so the node must have certain capability. In communications network, these are some of the parameters affecting the performance of how fast you can send this information across, uh, how easy and how much information that you can store the info, uh, information inside the node. So these are some of the, the, the things that uh, these parameters are required. So, for example, if you want to send this data across to another node, you must have the ability to see, understand its mobility pattern. Uh, secondly, you have to understand his their routing mechanisms, uh, the size of the area. You know, uh, is it small area or big area? The number of nodes within that area, the 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 node speed, how fast the node can move around, and the type of communications. For example, it will send either Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or whatever and then the transmission range how far it can sense the data across from one node to another node other message about the message size buffer size time to leave and battery life so this is the similarity what you're going to see with COVID-19 because the concept of delay tolerant network they use the concept 
through uh, viruses how the virus being spread how is it, how fast the virus being spread across uh, one particular area so uh, for example this this mobile device is actually a person the concept of person carrying the information and this information what we call actually the information is the virus itself for example in covid-19 is being carried around by this carrier so how fast this information can be go across it depends on the mobility pattern so that's why it's very important for us not to move around whenever there is a, a pandemic happen a pandemic or pandemic happen you cannot move around in random places because you will spread the information faster secondly it's about the routing mechanism who is going to uh, uh, where or who actually is going to carry this information across is this not is some someone is old or young people because old people is easy for them to carry the the viruses and the size of the area so we have to contain the area if the area is vast then it's easy for them to go across to another place the number of nodes the carrier themselves how many carriers are being carried across uh, the 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 node speed so for example uh, the last two days uh, when people go and balik kampung that's the speed of the virus can be spread around the type of communications so uh, is it easily being transmitted in communication nodes is either bluetooth or wifi but if you look at uh, people uh, they they can send the data across by touching people by coughing you know by not make uh, making sure that they are clean enough hygienic hygiene is a one of the factor uh, the transmission range you know what that's why we must have a range like uh, human to human about 1 meter uh, minimum that you you know the short the social distance being required uh, that's the reason why in communications wise if they want to send it further you they must have like uh, zigbee bluetooth wi-fi technology that can accrue either 10 meter or 50 meters across and then this message size buffer size time to live and battery life it depends on the virus themselves how it will be you know uh, when it's airborne how long it will live uh, you know battery life uh, time to live means if the person dies, most likely the, the, the virus also will die together with them. The buffer size, you know, how long it will be incubated in the person. So for, for 14 days, so the information in this case, uh, they cannot, they cannot uh, store the information too many because they need to, uh, they have limited storage for example. And then you need to clean it up or uh, you need to delete the data so in the case of buffer size in 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 covid 19 is whereby people are having this uh, incubation period of 14 days after that the time to leave it will die okay so the message size and all that how many viruses are being infected uh, to the human being so this concept of delay tolerant network is uh, they use this concept they have routing protocols what they call uh, what they call uh, epidemic routing so they use the concept of virus of epidemic routing and they also use the concept of profit profit routing means like you know uh, people are sending messages and making sure that the messages are true messages the one that being sent is something that is uh, is valid and verified so the probability of this message going to be sent to another another note is how many percent so this is something that i would like to share with you today uh, delay tolerant network or mobile opportunity opportunistic opportunistic network is being used uh, by uh, people in emergency areas uh, by the military and so on and so forth so please take care guys for today's uh, session where i would like to share uh, something which is more uh, beneficial you know something that we can uh, take a look at uh, I've been doing this I think this this research I've done this for I think in 2014 2013 uh, it was was quite some time ago uh, this is what I can recall when I look at the, the COVID-19 uh, how the pandemic occurs the, this concept still remain thank you bye and have your second day work from home sort of thing bye <laughs>